To our ancestors, we would all be magicians. We flip a switch and the light comes on. We press a pedal and move a mile a minute. Our buildings touch the sky. But have you ever thought about what materials make that magic possible? The light comes on because copper wires carry electric currents. Our cars move because they harness the chemical energy stored in gasoline or the current from moving lithium ions. Buildings stand a thousand feet high because we mine iron ore, smelt it, and alloy it with manganese and other metals to make steel frames that can hold up hundreds of thousands of tons. Behind the magic of modern life is a giant array of mineral resources that come from the Earth. Let's take a look at how we got here. It wasn't always like this. Back in the Stone Age, there were no metals and no mineral fuels, and life was short, hard, and dangerous. You might spend a whole day chopping down a tree with a stone axe, or shaping flint into a few arrowheads. You spent many days with digging sticks and wooden hoes to scratch food out of the ground, and often went hungry and cold. No matter what you wanted to do, you had only stone, wood, antler, and bone to make tools out of. But life got easier after civilizations around the world began to mine and smelt metals. Now, your hoes, plowshares, and chisels are made of iron, making farming and working more productive. Besides that, you can make new things, like wires and water pipes that had been next to impossible before. You might have lived in an empire with bronze weapons, all made from a metal that could be melted and cast into many identical copies, the first material in the world that could be mass produced. In the classical world, you would have had perhaps six or eight metals plus the old stone and wood and bone to make things out of. That was your entire material toolkit, what you had to do everything with, and it would stay the same for centuries. But life began to change as the mineral fuels, coal and petroleum, joined the material toolkit. By the 1800s, you could put coal or petroleum in an engine and use it to speed up age-old tasks like pumping water or working iron, or to do new ones, like run machinery that could manufacture more goods faster, better than ever before in history. You could travel faster than any horse in a steam-powered train that ran over rails made from steel, produced from iron ores now mined by the thousands of tons, and alloyed with new metals like chrome and nickel to make them strong. And you might even send family, friends, or business associates a message across the country via telegraph, using electrical signals transmitted over hundreds of miles of wiring made from the conductive metal copper. Your food was now plentiful thanks to fertilizers made from nitrate and phosphate minerals. Today, just watching this video, you're using silicon, gallium, indium, and more than 60 other elements mined from the earth, smelted, refined, and manufactured into computer chips. We can travel miles in minutes, launch satellites, illuminate the night, conquer diseases, and buy anything we want because of the vast array of materials that we mine from the Earth to do more and more. Every year as technology advances, the range of minerals that it's based on grows and grows and grows. Every year, this single mine produces almost six times as much copper as the whole Roman Empire did at its height. And it takes thousands more mines like this one to supply all of the materials that we need for our lifestyles now. But the Earth's resources are non-renewable. How can we continue getting the materials we need without mining them to exhaustion? If we understand how our material technology has depended on mineral resources through past and present, we're on our way to using them more wisely and more sustainably in the future. So, the next time you drive a car, flip a light switch, or do anything else you tend to take for granted, spend a moment. Think about what minerals make it possible and how they were mined and smelted and manufactured. And you'll be helping pave the way to a more sustainable future.